Astra and Caledon is the story of two young lovers. The film is almost unique in today's cinema in that it's a serious reading of an old book. The main characters in the novel that it's based on are 5th century Gauls, but they're imagined by Henri Dufre, a 17th century French writer. And what Romer does is to film them as the 17th century would have imagined. So every framing of every shot looks like an exquisite pastel French bucolic pastoral painting from the period, if you will. And the acting style is commensurate with or like the acting style of French 17th century theater. For contemporary American viewers, perhaps the biggest payoff of the film comes at the end when Caledon has disguised himself as a woman and in order to uh, regain the affections of Astria. In that part, we still get a lot of formal acting, um, but we also get cross-dressing, and there's something very contemporary feeling about the cross-dressing. And the gestures of the young actors, the way that they touch each other or the way that their hands and faces react to, to sexual arousal that they can't quite admit sexual arousal because they think one of them, the Astria, thinks that Caledon is of the same sex as her, he's remembered disguised as a woman, has a particularly modern and contemporary feeling and deals with and treats issues that are important to a lot of people in our community today, those of sexuality um, and, and gender. But um, it does so without the, the kind of baggage of, uh, of modern uh, representations of, of, of cross-dressing, but with 17th century baggage um, instead, which means that it can't at all be admitted that something like lesbian desire is what's at stake at the end, which is really interesting to watch. The Romance of Astria and Caledon is playing this week at the Cinematheque at the Athena Cinema on Court Street in Uptown Athens, Ohio.